Almost $5 million will be spread out to 12 panhandle communities impacted by Hurricane Michael for rural infrastructure. Jackson County is receiving more than a million dollars for various projects. News 13's Emily McLeod spoke with the Economic Development Council, who says the money will help them recruit potential companies and retain jobs. 98 jobs will stay in Jackson County thanks to a grant from the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity. It's going to be huge, very huge. It's a, it's a local company that's been here for a very, very long time, and we would have hated to see them leave and possibly go to Alabama. Almost $800,000 was awarded to the City of Mariana to construct a new 12-inch water main to meet federal, state, and local guidelines. The company, Tri-State Automotive, now known as Parts Warehouse Incorporated, would not have been able to keep their warehouse in Mariana for insurance purposes had the funding not been awarded. The city would have to run that water line and the city did not have the necessary funds at this time, so we did whatever we could to find the necessary avenues uh, to get that funding. Jackson County received an additional $300,000 for site certification at the Spanish Trail Commerce Park as well as the Endeavor Commerce Park. Gilmore says the site certification will help them compete against other rural counties when recruiting businesses to move to the area. It's a huge deal to have that leg up and be able to say, hey, we've already got a certified site so it's got the infrastructure laid that's necessary uh, for you to come in and start construction. Graceville, Sneeds, and Malone also receive funding for infrastructure improvements. In Jackson County, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong.